So this is my desk where I work. And right now everything is really messy because I had a deadline right before Christmas. And whenever I'm on deadline, like everything falls apart. <laughs> and so I really haven't had a chance to get in and clean so much uh, since I've been back for Christmas because I was kind of sick yesterday. And it was rainy and icy and we had all these things we had to pick up that came from Grandma's house and you know, the storms and stuff. So today's gonna be my day to really clean the studio and start my year up right. So here in front of my desk is, uh, there's my computer, there are you guys. <laughs> and see, this is where I keep the artwork that I'm working on. And when I finish a piece of artwork, I put it up there. And I have two more rungs up there, so I have a lot of space. And up here I have skylights, so I get a lot of natural light. And on the other side of my room here, I have uh, an easel, which I say always that I'm going to paint something that's not for work, but that <laughs> that, that, that canvas has been there for two years now. <laughs> and even though the easel is taking up a lot of space, I'm determined to keep it there so that I can force myself to do something just for me. But I have my diploma from college. I have some artwork that kids have sent me a few awards. Um, this big black thing here, that, that big case has all of my artwork in it from all of my books. And it's, it's filled now. I actually have to figure out where I'm gonna store all my artwork. I'm thinking about finding a place that's not in the studio because it's actually, it's a, this is a relatively small space and it's taking up a lot of space up above there I love old technology. So I have my grandfather's old 8-track machine. I have a floppy disk from a computer I had in the 80s. I have some vinyl records, and I have a slide projector and some cassette tapes. And over here I have a bookshelf. And my bookshelf was overflowing, but I actually had to take about half my books and put them in storage for now until I get more space. Come over here. And uh, there's my pal Ralph. You want to say hi to Ralph? Yes. Ralph? He sleeps a lot. He's a lazy pug. <laughs> when he was a puppy, he was always hyper and crazy. Ralph, do you want a treat? <laughs> Up you go. Sit. Sit. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Things I make you do. Can you guys count to, let me see the sun's coming in here. Can you guys count to three? One, two, three. There we go. Good trick, bro. And then over here, I have another, some few awards that I've won up there. Um, some pictures of my family, a bunch of promotional postcards and bookmarks. And here's here's a little another fun fact. So when uh, Lunch Lady number six is called uh, Lunch Lady in the Field Trip Fiasco, originally it was called Lunch Lady in the Field Trip Frenzy, but I got this piece of fan art, I don't know if you can see it there with the, the sun, where a kid drew a picture and wrote Field Trip Fiasco and I said, well, I actually like that better, the word fiasco better than I like the word frenzy. Nice. So that got changed. A little fan. Um, let me switch my cameras back. So also over on that bookshelf, I also have a whole section that is all books that I had when I was a kid. And I, I pulled three of my favorite books from my childhood. And these were the, my copies when I was a kid, and I still have them today. And there is one of my most favorites, was The Mouse and the Motorcycle by Beverly Cleary. And if you open up the inside of the front cover, you can see my name written from when I was in like probably third or fourth grade. <laughs> and James and the Giant Peach. Aww. And I love reading uh, Snoopy comics. Yeah. And this, I think, this maybe was a hand-me-down book. Let me see what the copyright is here. Yeah, I think this may have been one of my older sisters. 